Hello world, welcome to Inbanks Unfiltered where I talk about almost anything. This video will be news and numbers three. So the number is 11. Why 11? Because I'm going to just name 11 news stations that I think is hot garbage and they either tell a whole lot of lies or they tell the truth but not the whole truth. Which is like, don't even be a station at all then. You know what I'm saying? But... Hey, they be on and popping and sheepalizing the sheep. But, you know, I believe uh, kind of like uh, that opening scene with the Officer Hoyt and uh, Alonzo in training day at the diner or whatever. When uh, Alonzo was reading the newspaper and was all giddy giddy and trying to, you know, all that bullshit. And Alonzo was all like, man, it's 90% of his bullshit, but that 10% is entertaining. So, boom, you know, the news is 90% bullshit, 10% entertaining, but shoot, it might be 99% bullshit now, 1% entertaining. But, uh, yeah, let me name, just go through 11 of these, real, these 11, and then just uh, talk more trash about them. So, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, Bloomberg, Yahoo, HLN. New York Times, ESPN, all 11 of y'all are hot trash to me. And it's like I would observe and watch for, you know, independent research or interested observing. And then I go out and talk to people or people come talk to me and they sound exactly like the fucking TV. And I'm just like, uh, I, I wish I could understand what a certain person thinks rather than what they got from the TV. And it's just a lot of people just are the TV now. And it's just crazy. I'm like, damn, man. robotic TV head ass. Mother. But uh, yeah, uh, I hate that the news sometimes tells the truth. And then like uh, I believe in 73 or 83, the New York Times had a post about Nubia, you know what I'm saying, being the oldest found monarch. And I'm like, now that's the truth I'm, I'm interested in. Hell yeah, keep keep that, keep that keeping up and shit. But, you know, I feel like maybe the New York Times saw the response to that article back in the day and was all like, oh no, we can only know what the future would provide and, and the full truths that are even be coming out even more and more. So let's cut that on back to the bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, you said that article was true and factual, and we can go look up the research and structures and carbon data, or do whatever y'all want to do to get fully broken down of, okay, now that's the truth right there. But, you know, sheep are going, no, the oldest monarch is rare and everything. And oh, no, okay, now everybody else dumb now. <laughs> it's like uh, the New York Times is right when it want to be, and then, uh, or news can be 100% factual when they want to be, but, eh. About 99% of the time, flukery, propaganda, or who is that, uh, Charles Chester, whatever, that just got exposed, uh, breaking down CNN, showing, uh, you know, it's propaganda, uh, if it bleeds, it leads. Get the fuck out of here, man, and these motherfuckers still watching CNN. Oh, shit, I dropped my, oh, shit, damn. These motherfuckers still watching CNN and shit. I'm like, dog. shout out to James O'Keefe and Project Veritas. Y'all keep, keep on keeping on. Now, I, I, I'm going to work for them motherfuckers one day. So y'all got me fucked up. Or if not work for them, just do my own little version of what they're doing. I'm like, dog, I don't see nothing wrong with what they're doing. Like, if so, come explain it to me in an open-minded, non-sheepalized way. Because the way they're exposing everybody that's trying to expose them, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, see, I see the flukery, the way Project Veritas is breaking it down. But when I go to who people, the people that hate on Project Veritas or saying, oh, they're blah, 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 blah. Then I'll go and I'll be like, mm, I don't really get the same energy, vibe, and frequency that these motherfuckers that are trying to get at Project Veritas. I'm like, dog, everybody should be trying to do what they're doing, exposing all these news companies. But, hey, sheep are going to sheepalize. Or maybe, maybe uh, you know, all the multi things I've wanted to do in my life, maybe journalist was one, being a reporter. But now looking at the news, being all compromised and people just doing shit for the almighty dollar and shit. You know what I'm saying? Monetize, sheepalize, sheepalize monetary system motherfuckers and shit. You know, money, money, money. Mr. Crab brain ass motherfuckers and shit. It's like, well, damn. Uh, yeah, I feel like I want to expose all the news then, and my journalism will just be strictly ghetto and just, hey, well, you know, 
if I am wrong, hopefully a stimulated thought. Don't get mad. Get smart. Prove me wrong. Love whatever, whatever. But uh, but yeah, man, just a little razzle dazzle on uh, news and numbers. Eleven. And I'm sure I left out a whole lot of other news companies. Should y'all chime in and add some more of the motherfuckers and shit? Because these news be on some bullshit. But again, now it's more for entertainment purposes and just to see if they ever will tell certain truths that'll rattle some feathers of a lot of sheeple's core beliefs. You know what I'm saying? Break up some of that cognitive dissonance. You know what I'm saying? But until then, shit, you know, it is what it is. I hope y'all, uh, Hope, hopefully I stimulated a little thought on these bullshit ass news stations. Uh, other than that, yeah, y'all be cool. Keep your stress low. Don't be scared of nothing. Be prepared for everything. Peace.